Through LFS, I realized that producing was actually what I really thought was my strong point, and by working with other people that have more the technical abilities, that working together we could do a lot more than me trying to direct or trying to DOP. I have the skills needed to go on into the industry for what I want to do, and by being at LFS, it's reinstilled in me the fact that I can do it, and being given the opportunities, I think I'll be able to. Um, being from the States, uh, the work, I've worked in TV for five years and to get to higher level producing, it's almost been now required that you have a master's degree. And I enjoyed, I did a semester abroad in London during my undergrad and I really enjoyed it. So when I was looking at master's program, I just was deciding between LA, New York and London. And American courses are three to four years where LFS is two to three and actually the price of LFS is much cheaper than American universities, which does help. <laughs> I really didn't know what I was in store for when I came here. I had never seen the school, um, just looked at it from the brochure, so I really had no expectations of coming in completely blind. But you learn to love it, all the little interest, interests and it's unless you really want to be there, then you wouldn't appreciate it for what it is. That's what I've come to realize. Some people just look at the building and don't see what's actually hidden inside. They just see the exterior. And you can tell those students that are there only for a name, only to get the degree, versus those that are trying to find the hidden gems, trying to find those people that they work best with and trying to make the most of their education. The background I have, the other university I went to, is very much all American students, especially from the uh, East Coast, the Northeast, and so coming to a school in which the majority of my term, the majority of the schools from all over the globe, so not only now do I have contacts just in the UK, just in the States, but places like Mexico, the Philippines, Scandinavia, Australia, it's knowing that I have people that I can trust in different countries to do work if I want to outsource it, it's a great relief because I'll know that not only can I use them, but I can use people that they would recommend that they would trust which for this industry is a really important aspect to find people that you know can work with, the people that you will give the trust to to do the work that you expect to be done. The most important thing would be to work on as many films as possible and try to meet as many people as possible, not only to help them out, but then it ends up being a turnaround process that if you need help on your films, if you helped with other people in the terms above you, they're more than willing to help on your films as well. And it's not just about contacts, it's about getting the most out of your education. I've worked on, I can't even, don't even know how many films I've worked on at the school, from producing to ADing to sound recording and helping with some production design. But the thing is that as long as you love it, then you really don't see it as wasting time. I know some people only would only work on their own films, and so when it came to the grad films, they're having trouble finding other crew members, where people who've made a huge base of the other students, people volunteer for at a given second, oh, I want to help you, I want to help you, and they know that you're going to help them at the end as well. And so it comes around full circle, and it's the most important thing you can do is learn to work with everybody else.